Hi, I'm Solara Key of The Actors Reporter. Welcome back to Solara Speaks Power Thoughts. Inspired by Dr. C. Branton Shear of the Multiple Intelligences Research and Consulting in Ohio. Dr. Shear's theory is based upon the work of Howard Gardner of Harvard University. Dr. Shear describes eight types of intelligence, and today we'll explore one type called spatial smart, or what the doc calls thinking in pictures and perceiving the visual world. And you have no idea how excited I am to share today's discussion with our guest. He's an actor appearing on TV, films, and commercials, and he's a five-time world champion martial artist, martial arts trainer, and certified sports medicine trainer. He's also an author and an entertainer. Whew, that's a lot. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our guest is Matt Mullins. Hey, Matt. Welcome to Solara Speaks Power Thoughts. Hi, Solara. Thank you very <laughs> much for having me on your wonderful show. Thank you for joining me. Some of our audience may not know this, Matt, but you created the Sideswipe Performance Team, which is a martial arts-based group that blends traditional <laughs> martial arts, such as karate and taekwondo, with gymnastics and acrobatics. And Sideswipe entertains audiences across the country. Yeah, it's actually a, it's a great experience to be able to go and travel with Sideswipe everywhere in the world because it's a great opportunity for us to show a different type and a different side of martial arts uh -huh. to kids and help inspire them for uh, what they do. And I wanted you to be my guest today for Spatial Smart because as I watch you compete in martial arts or entertain with Sideswipe, you seem to utilize all your space and you easily work with props such as, you know, sticks or other weapons. Oh, well, thank you. Mm -hmm. According to Dr. Shear, spatial intelligence is to think in three dimensions and to transform one's perceptions and recreate aspects on one's visual experience via imagination. Spatial smart also includes working with objects effectively. So, for example, space awareness allows one to solve problems of spatial orientation and to move objects through space, such as driving a car or, in your case, Matt, flipping through the air with apparent ease. Apparent ease. Apparent yes. ease. <laughs> Spatial awareness also includes the ability to make, build, fix, or assemble objects and, interestingly enough, to create artistic designs, drawings, or paintings. Matt, can you share any advice with our Actors Reporter audience that may assist them to better develop their spatial awareness? Sure, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think that for some of the choreography and the movements that we end up doing, we end up figuring out what our space is to begin with, and then we try to come up with the most creative way possible to use that space. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if we're doing a, a a piece of a performance on stage. We have to actually we have to take into consideration the the height of the ceiling. We have to uh, the size of the stage. What type of floor or surface that we're actually doing our work on, and then we can visualize the different type of movements that would make the most outstanding performance possible. Absolutely. And some things actually work and some things don't work, but that's how we come up with such unique performances every single time because we have to problem solve in our performances in order to uh, work with that type of area. In acting, I feel it's the same thing as well. If you're given uh, a prop or a set or some sort of situation where you have to uh, uh, to use it in the scene, if you could actually use it in the most creative way possible and experiment with it, try different things, and uh, you know, you take what you get from your other actors and the environment, you actually end up coming out with, uh, with a really amazing type of performance uh, at the end. That sounds so cool. <laughs> I just love listening to you. That's awesome. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. It was an honor to have you. Thank you for having me. It's always good to see you. Oh, yeah. Well, we appreciate you, too. I'm Solara Key. Join us again at Actors Reporter for Solara Speaks Power Thoughts. Until then, stay brainy.